Hey guys, RC here, back with episode three, Football Manager 20, and we are in season two, our first season at East Borough Borough, East, East, Eastbourne Borough, God, <laughs> tongue twister. All right, so, last episode, if you haven't watched it, highly recommend you go check it out, what a huge, huge match for us. 2-1 uh, win over Dover. Uh, we played Chippenham. We lost 2-1. to one. We got a goal from Ryan Murphy. Then we beat from 2-1. to one. Connor Cohen with a brace. Maidenhead, we had a 1-1 one, one draw. Danny Stevenson scored. Uh, Lose, we lost 1-0 on an 83rd minute penalty. Then we had a 3-2 win over Dorking. Lawrence Hume, a new name, scored in the fourth minute. Danny Stevenson back on the score sheet. And... Center back Scott Seaton with a second half goal. Chelmsford, we got a 2 1 win. Connor Cohen gave up the own goal. Stevenson and Hume, both our strikers, finding the net in the win. And then we played Slufftown and we lost 2 to 1. Stevenson, a late goal, but we were already down 2 0, two goals in the first half. So where does that have us? Well, it has us ninth position. We're only supposed to fight relegation. It would be great to get into the playoffs, but honestly, I think we need at least one more year here to really develop the roster. Although you can develop the roster at the next level, right? So, you know, just to make the playoffs and get promoted if we can, but you know, slow and steady wins the race but of course in these in these climbing the ladder you want to you want to kind of mosey on up as quick as you can uh Stevenson and Hume have not been here all season they're both leading the way with six goals Stevenson playing a 7.15 let's take a look at some transfers we've got another striker that might be coming in but uh let's see Bittner we looked at Bittner didn't we Pretty sure, pretty sure, pretty sure. Oh, well, let's just go over them all. Stevenson, I know we looked at. Uh, he's our new striker. And, yes, he has six goals in 11 matches. He is playing very well. Uh, Rico Francis uh, is the guy that I went and signed on a, on a, on a loan. Uh, he, we ended up moving him to our uh, under-18s. He was unscouted. I was just looking for depth, and he was one of the guys that showed up that we could get. Uh, Joe Williams, another striker that I got. Um, he has uh, five matches with two assists, uh, no goal, still looking for his first goal. He's actually not bad. His finishing isn't great. Uh, so, you know, he's definitely a second option uh, on the attack. And then we signed, uh, th all the rest of these were signed by my director of football. So Neville Moss. Uh, midfielder, defensive midfielder, center back. Uh, he's, he's got decent physicals, uh, some aggression, decision-making. Uh, if we play him as a Mazella, uh, yeah, he's not very good there. And as a roaming playmaker, he's not very good there either in his technicals. But he's got physicals, and he's really got really solid mentals for this level. So uh, he hadn't played a lot, but he's playing a 6.85, which is pretty good, uh, but gives us some depth. So he's played two matches. So, you know, Jack Holmes uh, is a center back. He's come on board. Uh, our director of football evidently thinks we need a lot of center backs, but uh, not the paciest guy, but he's got really good heading with decent jumping reach, marking and tackling. So I'm liking him. Uh, Lawrence Hume from Dunstable on a uh, on a transfer. Uh, he's another striker. Really good pace. Finishing and first touch are solid. He's got 6 and 11 starts playing over a 7. So he has jumped into that second striker role. Uh, Joe Johnson just joined us about a week ago. Another center back. He's got two appearances. Eh, you know, not the greatest, but he's he's there. He's there. And uh, who else? Peter Davies, another center back. Now, this guy, we had an offer on him. I know I showed him. He's 6'5". He's got good tackling and marking. Heading's not great, even though he can jump, but he but he, he can head the ball. So, solid-looking center back, playing a 6'8". Uh, let's see. 
100% tackles in four matches, three starts. So he looks pretty good. And then Sean Howe, another center back, left back. Uh, we're looking at him as a wing back. I've started training him over there. Again, solid physicals, some decent mentals. Not really the most technical, but again, warm bodies just for depth for a few of these guys. So what has that done to us finance-wise? Well, we're spending 21000 out of the $28,000. Um, transfer budget is uh, basically untouched. Everybody's come in on a free. And uh, let's see, we are two weeks in. We're actually, you know, with the transfers, you know, paying that initial pop, you know, we are losing a little bit of money. So, you know, hopefully he quits spending soon. But uh, that is what's going on there. If we take a look at our goal scores, uh, we have six from Stevenson, three from Sopel, three from Cohen. Cohen has, uh, even though he's done really well, you know, now you can see as we brought in some more talent, he is not the most talented guy on the squad. And he's fallen out of favor. So he's not playing as much. Uh, Ryan Murphy's injured, uh, although he's not, you know, very good either. So uh, Whitshire's moved to the bench with some of the signings, so he's not playing out of position. So if we take a look at the tactic real quick, you can see the familiarity is actually getting there. And uh, if you know, then if we look at some of our other ones, because we haven't played them, they're getting accomplished with them. Right, but the uh, the creativity and stuff still still working. So we're gonna stick with this one. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing, we're actually favored in this one pretty heavily. We are at home, so I want to do want to do something else a little different today. So Johnson, all right. The tactic calls for a Mazella drift wide. And <laughs> all right, ball winning midfielder. On, well, no, he's on attack. Can we put him as an advanced playmaker on attack then? His passing's not very good. All right, you know what? First, let's do this. Let's do pick entire team. Let's best 11. All right, so Johnson's a center, central defender. All right. If we put him, no, because he can't play there. Pick the entire team. All right, we'll do that. Um, Connor Cohen is actually, well, nobody's good out there. Nobody's good out there at all. Can Bittner even play out there? He is a left back, or he can play left back. How? How might actually be better out there? Now, do I drop him to a ball-winning midfielder on support? Let's do that. All right, Johnson. Let's make you a central midfielder on uh, ball-winning midfielder on support. That really makes us strong up the middle. I like that. Pressing forward. I'm going to make you a support. You're my attacker. All right. I'm going to make you a wingback attack. And you, I'm going to make you a wingback attack. That actually makes us a little stronger on the sides yeah let's do that all right we've got Whitshire, Williams, Godwin and Holland on the bench can I get away without my keeper if so let's put mid attacking mid mid left I'm gonna put Marwood on the bench all right let's go there no captain this match. That's fine. I was reading a thread over at SI about in, in a tactic, you know, if you're having success, does it benefit you to 
move the positions to something a little more natural. Because a lot of these tactics, like, you know, playing a false nine or, you know, uh, a regista or something like that, right? All right, let's get creative. Four shots to none. All right, they're inspired. Uh, let me check one other thing. All right, we already have worked the ball into the box. All right, that's fine. And fire defensive line. We're not using tighter marking, which I usually do. But we're doing well, so, you know, that is what it is. All right. Come on, boys. All right, we're in the red. All right. Hurst makes the nice grab. He was playing out a little bit. All right, he lumps it. No, Nobody in a red shirt over there. I wonder if he's colorblind. All right, a good header. All right, that was a nice one-two touch. Uh, Hurst corrals that with no problem. All right, he throws it out to Holmes. Holmes makes a good pass. Jones on the run. Stevenson comes back to get it. He plays it into the box. The header just off the mark by Jones. Made a nice run. All right, another set piece for the opponents. Have you guys ever seen... Uh, oh, what a... Oh, he went up and got a hand on it but couldn't knock it out. Aaron Gibbons' first goal of the season. ay 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 Nice header. I thought Hurst had that. He just couldn't hold on to it. Oh, man. Uh, push forward. All right. Hal's acting a little anxious. All right. A little block there. Bittner comes out and grabs it. He holds it up. Oh, through ball. Stevenson. And he slots it home. He's been making some really good runs like that, timing it perfectly to break that back line. Seventh goal of the season. Nice ball by Bittner. Loving that. Loving that a lot. All right, just a couple of minutes. 11 to 1. We're dominant. I mean, only three on target, though. Assertive. All right, and avoid another yellow card. It's really strange that we're not doing the tight marking and I'm, I'm just getting a shit ton of yellows. Just a crazy amount of yellow cards. All right. Um, let's see. Joe Williams, mid center. All right. Let's bring him on for Cameron Sopel. And then let's bring... Marwood on at that wing back position. It is a little out of place for him, but again, we've got to, you kind of got to play that at this level, right? Get creative. We've got possession. All right. Um, wing back left. Let's bring Whitshire on. Uh, you know that wing back. Let's bring Goodwin on for him. Because that's more of an attacking slot, right? All right, Williams brings it up across the midline. Good touch to Hume. Back to Johnson. He sees Bittner. Bittner and Williams, couple of one touches. Well, he cuts it inside. There's a shot. Joe Williams, his first of the season. That puts us up two to one. Ten minutes left to play. Nice, nice work of the ball into the box there. Williams just matriculated it into the box. Very nice. All right, Howe's off. Good one's on. All right, let's tighten up. All right, good one. 
set piece from right outside the box. Oh, thought we had a shot there. All right, four minutes of stoppage time. Oh, that's a big win for us. Big win. All right, dressing room. Um, you know, no, we won. We won. Um, yeah, let's build them up. Build them up. You know, it's, it's building a house. You got to build the bricks. All right, we're sitting on, tw let's see, let's finish the day. Make sure nobody has, there we go. All right, so we are sitting, well, we were sitting somewhere. All right, we come from behind to win. Davies makes his debut. Stevenson shines with a goal. Four key headers. Uh, da, 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 you were superb. Awesome. Competitions. All right, so we're sitting in eighth. 23 points. We're only one point out of the playoffs. The goals, I mean, we're winning, right? Seven wins, five losses. I mean, we're not winning every match. But 9 out of 14, we've gotten points. I think you got to take that. I hmm. think you got to take that. So the board's real happy here, 66%. Uh, we do have a FA Cup against Hornchurch coming up. And uh, we may come back for that one. I think that's what we talked about, coming back and doing two matches in quick succession so we'll do that i'll play uh we'll do horn church here in a couple of days next episode uh let's see what else so what do you guys think of the new squad i mean certainly it's uh it's deeper i mean it's still not a huge squad we're still just one screen right so that's there's no issue there um do we have anybody that's just not playing at all well, our keeper, uh, Thornton, do I move him to, let's move him to the under 18 squad. Get him off of there. And Davies just joined. Hal is suspended. Turnbull's our backup. Moss just joined. Johnson just joined. Marwood's got 10 off the bench. So everybody's played at least five matches, even if they're relatively new. And the guys that haven't are either definitive backups or they just got here. So I think we're all right there. So uh, I would like, I would like maybe another good defensive midfielder, but that, that is what it is. All right, guys, well, hit that like button for me. That's how you can support my channel. Uh, I don't ask for Patreon or anything else. Just hit the like button. That, that makes me very happy. Uh, comment away. I love comments. Don't get anywhere near enough of them. So hearing from you would be great. Uh, and let me know what you're thinking. I mean, let me know what you think of the signings. I think Stevenson has been a huge get for us this year, playing a 7.52 over his last five matches. What a stellar performance. Uh, seven goals in 12. He's making two grand a month. So, you know, he's he's right up there with one of our higher paid players. Um, luckily, all those guys are playing. So Davies just came on. Uh, Holmes will be playing a lot. And uh, Bittner, I'm kind of, Bittner's the one I'm kind of regretting. Um, but he was he was going to be a player for us. So, all right. Well, we will see you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.